Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry, this is me going to one of the weekly contest 302 Maximum number of pairs in a way uh, Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord Let me know what you think about this problem So there are a lot of different ways to solve it N is 100, so One basic way would be just sort at And then, you know, just match the adjacent ones The other way is by using a hash table, which is what I did uh, I, I look up the hash tables um, for each pair, well, the pairs is just number of, of occurrences divided by two, and if you have leftovers, which is, you know, denoted by mod, then these are just the leftovers, and at the end, just return them both, and that's basically it. Um, this is going to be linear time, linear space, and that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, the sorting one will be n log n time, but maybe you can do other funky things of it, and maybe you can understand it, but, and, uh, and for the contest, it's actually fine, so yeah, um, cool, that's pretty much what I have so you can watch me solve it live in the contest now auto reloading at least I don't have like startup loading issues knock on wood okay let's see that, am I recording all right just want to make sure uh okay you go removal import what are you doing uh okay mm -hmm. wait what how is there one left? Wait, what's the, what are we returning? Number of leftover integers and nums. Zero is the number of pairs, and one is the number of leftover integers. Okay, I did not read what are we supposed to return at all. Okay. Oh, wow, so many typos. Um, what are we doing again? Leftover and pairs, okay. Is that right? Probably. Yeah, okay, whatever. YOLO. Um, okay. Max sum appearing. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think. Uh, stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'll see you later here from DC. Bye bye.